video, we are going to apply the concept of nodal analysis to solve a problem having more than two nodes. So let's take a numerical. So I've taken a problem having a voltage source of 16 volt and a current source of 3 ampere. Resistances are given. Objective is to get potential of this node or I can say a voltage drop across 2 ohm resistance if I consider this as a reference. So I will mark this node as X and voltage of this node is Vx. Similarly for this node it is Vy and here I will consider Vz a potential of node Z and this is a reference node I will consider having a voltage 0. Objective is to get potential of this node. So Vz we are supposed to find out using nodal analysis. So we have already marked all the nodes. Let's mark all branch currents. Current source is given. So current direction for this branch is same as the current source. So it's upward and for remaining branches I will consider random current direction. Now, if you see properly a network, I'll come to know between node X and a reference only voltage source is present and the value is 16. So I can directly say Vx equal to 16. Earlier we have considered such type of a problem. So whenever only voltage source is present between a node and a reference node. I can have potential of that node is same as voltage source. In this case, Vx equal to 16. One more thing we have discussed. Do not consider this as a variable, but consider this as an equation. Because we have seen whenever we solve a numerical, in the end, I should get Vx value same as the 16 so that I can say whatever method I have used or whatever direction or whatever I have done while solving the problem is correct. So for verification purpose, do not consider this as a variable. Consider this as an equation where coefficient of Vx is 1, coefficient of Vy is 0, coefficient of Vz is also 0 and constant is 16. So once you have written this equation 1, no need to apply KCL to node X. So our work has been reduced because 1, 2, 3, 4 branches were connected. But by this voltage source, so work has become very simple now. Let's go to the node Y then. Apply KCL at node Y. So at node Y, three branches are connected. Out of that, one branch is having incoming current and remaining two branches are having outgoing currents. So let's write the equation for this 4 ohm current. So for this 4 ohm, it is Vx minus Vy divided by 4 equal to, this is outgoing current, started at Y ending on the reference. So Vy minus 0 divided by 2 plus for this one ohm, started at y, ending on z. So, vy minus vz divided by 1. Let's rearrange the terms. So, all vx terms I will write together. Then all vy terms. So, I will have minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 2, minus 1, and then vz 
here only one term i'll get the coefficient is 1 equal to 0 this is equation number 2 similar way i can apply kcl at node z so at z four branches are connected out of that one two three are incoming and one is outgoing so let's write the terms for this incoming currents so for this one ohm it is vy minus vz divided by one for this three ohm started at x ending on z so vx minus vz divided by 3 3 ampere is a current source so directly i can write plus 3 equal to only outgoing current is this started as z ending on reference and the resistance is 2 ohm let's rearrange the term so after rearranging i will get vx into 1 by 3 plus vy as it is plus vz minus 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 equal to constant if i take to other side it will be minus 3 this i will get equation number 3 now solving equations 1 2 and 3 I will get Vx as 16 volt. Since I am getting this variable Vx equal to 16 volt after solving the equations which were we have initially considered as equation 1. So since I am getting both these terms are same, I can say whatever method or whatever calculation we have done is correct. Then I will have Vy equals 7.0943 volt and finally Vz equals 8.4151 volt we have been asked to calculate the voltage of this node which is Z so Vz we are supposed to calculate and that answer we got as 8.4151 so here we have seen that we can apply nodal analysis to any complicated network having more than two nodes in subsequent videos we will solve numericals based on this thank you